let's get into today's episode. This is about how to do nothing. I'm going to give you a simple guide. So, one day in the jungle, while the resident lion impatiently patrolled his territory, he spotted a big black spider relaxing in a web. The lion asked the spider, Why are you so lazy? You should be out hunting for your food like me. The spider rolled his eyes and ignored the lion. I don't have time for this, I'm off to hunt, the lion barked. Later that day, the lion marched back through the jungle with blood dripping from his mouth. He proudly boasted to the spider, I just ate a lovely deer for lunch today. It looks like you've got nothing in that pathetic web of yours. The spider looked over with the same stoic gaze and continued to relax in his web. Almost a week passed by without a fresh kill and the next time the lion approached the web, he saw the spider was munching on a big fat fruit fly. The lion couldn't believe his eyes. He asked the spider, how were you able to catch a meal without moving? The spider replied, I spin my web and then wait, a fly will always get trapped, it just takes time. So the moral of the story here really is that sometimes we don't need to actually go out into the world, take massive action to get what we want. Sometimes it's better to sit back, to build a web and to let opportunities and experiences come to you. So let's translate this to how I was operating in the business world. When I first ventured into the online marketing world, struggling to make my first few pounds, I tried to do everything. Facebook, Twitter, email, cold calling, copywriting, and the list goes on. I thought hustling and working as many hours as possible was the only way to succeed. Society seems to value quantity over quality, which I believe is a recipe for disaster. Burnout and stress are now commonplace detrimental to your health and the ability to create and perform at your peak. The numbers don't lie, high performers all around the world are suffering from burnout. A recent study showed as many as 28%, that's nearly a third, of C-level executives in the US have experienced the debilitating state of burnout. You are not a lion. Lions have evolved specifically to chase down wild animals for hours on end, often with nothing to show for their effort. If we continue to take this approach in our lives, we will suffer greatly. This is where the power of doing nothing plays a pivotal role. What if we consciously decided to carve out time from our busy days to simply do nothing? How would that affect our ability to focus and produce? There's a growing body of evidence in the professional world that doing nothing can have a bigger impact on your life than you could possibly imagine, with peer-reviewed science to back up these results. So what happens when you just do nothing? While it might seem logical that working on a project, attending a meeting, or hitting the gym are all activities that stimulate your brain, science tells us that the opposite is true. Andrew Smart, the author of Autopilot, The Art and Science of Doing Nothing, said, Neurologist Markel Reichel found that when subjects performed specific tasks, activity in certain brain regions like the hippocampus, medial prefrontal cortex, and the preconus was suppressed. This was an odd conclusion. So Reichel decided to test further subjects, but didn't give them a specific task to complete. The result was that the same regions that deactivated during concentration became active when they were not focused on a specific task. This means increased blood flow in your brain and that means a healthier, happier and more creative brain. So it's time to take a new perspective. Just like the spider, I now have more balance in my life. I focus intensely when it's time to spin my web, but when I choose to do nothing, that's exactly what I do. You must invest your time on high value tasks in your business or profession to create your own highly engineered web that will land big, fat, juicy fruit flies. Scattering your attention and working until you drop puts you at a massive disadvantage. The time, effort and energy you put into switching from email to social media to meetings could be put to better use. And the following quote that I found on Medium sums it up perfectly. 
I've never heard anyone say, I spent all day checking email and screwing around on Facebook and it was one of the best days of my life. I'm pretty sure you'll never hear that from anyone. So here's why doing nothing really does matter. In today's world of instant gratification, like same day delivery from Amazon and the addictive dopamine inducing notifications, we get bombarded with every day from Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, our attention is being systematically destroyed and fragmented. Top performers and leaders in their fields recognize the pitfalls of technology and consciously weave time into their daily, monthly, and yearly schedules for solitude without an internet connection. People like Bill Gates, Tim Ferriss, Steve Jobs, all retreat into what is now commonly known as a think week. It's their way of doing nothing but thinking. Several times every year, they gallivant off to a unknown location, free from technology, friends, family, and coworkers to simply do nothing and think. Neuroscience tells us that our brains are more active and use the most energy when we are idle. Therefore, it's no surprise that many of these leaders credit their big breakthroughs to these think weeks. When you relinquish control and let your brain switch into autopilot mode, you're taking advantage of a highly engaged brain activity that could lead to brilliance. So here's how to do nothing. The goal here is to get away from technology and the usual day-to-day -day distractions to simply be with yourself and your thoughts. You don't necessarily need to head off on a week-long retreat, but typically the longer you spend doing nothing, the deeper you can go and the more peaceful you'll feel. Every year or two, I head off to a 10-day silent meditation retreat. No phone, no laptop, books, pens, paper, nothing. My days are filled with 10 hours of meditation. I think, I eat, and I sleep. And this is a pretty extreme example, and I certainly don't recommend it for everyone, but it has a dramatic and noticeable effect on my ability to pay attention, focus, and come up with creative ideas. An easy way to get started is to find some time every week to cut yourself off from the world for most of the day. And this could be a, a long walk in the park, a hike in the mountains, or just lying on the sofa. The key here is to turn off all distractions and remove them from your reach. I guarantee that if you've never done this before, you'll be itching to check your phone sooner than you might think. So I suggest scheduling time to do nothing on a daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly basis. Then take note of how you feel afterwards. Are you more peaceful, refreshed, creative? You will probably realize how addicted you are to your devices. But as you spend more and more time in this space of doing nothing, you'll really appreciate and value this time and it will become an essential part of your day. You'll develop a stronger ability to focus, generate more creativity, and you'll feel happier and more relaxed with life. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I know your time is extremely valuable. So if you've enjoyed today's content, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell so you get a notification next time I release another one of these videos. You can also leave me a comment below and let me know what part of this video resonated the most with you or simply click that like button to let me know you enjoyed this content. And if you want to get your hands on a free 12 minute guided meditation that I recorded to help you manifest your dreams and create whatever you want in your life, go ahead and click the link in the description for your free download. And if you want to check out all the latest blog posts on my blog, dabsofreality.com, the link is down there below as well, along with my Instagram and my Facebook page, if you want to consider following me on those platforms. Until next time, catch you on the flip side.